Um, Kanye is a real G. Oh yeah, Kanye redesigns the Gap Store. That's a pretty cool one. So obviously, Kanye announced um, recently that he's going to be collaborating with Gap. He has got a ten-year partnership um, that he's been able to sign on a dotted line. It's obviously a lifelong ambition for him. He's always wanted to uh, redesign Gap or be the creative director of Gap, and now he has that privilege. He's going to be working with a whole host of creative artists. That he's going to be using. Um, he's going to be kind of. Um, pulling resources together and reaching out to loads of you know geniuses in their field to make this gap project really go up um and obviously gap is floundering at the moment they need all the help that they can get if he's responsible for reviving gap he will go down in history as an absolute legend <coughs> and it was revealed he kind of did a bit of a redesign of the gap store in chicago the one that i think he used to work in um and it's a really touching sort of tribute it's been entirely wrapped in the sort of like a sheet with a note on the side um essentially um speaking about some of the things he went through to make this uh, collaboration come to life and i thought i wanted to uh, sort of speak about it here so this is from hype beast right and it says here, the title, Kanye West redesigns Chicago Gap Store in light of a Yeezy partnership. And it's really cool, man. They've wrapped the entire store. Um, sh is it a sheet or is it? It looks like a sheet, right? Or a sort of plastic film with the Yeezy Gap logo on the side and the writing there. We can actually see it closer. And it reads as follows. It says, thank God. Hi, Chicago. It's EA. Um, this is the Gap store I used to shop at when I would drive my Nissan from Southside. I'm so blessed. I thank God that I'm so humbled at the opportunity to serve. I put my heart into the color palette and every design. I love, what's the other bit there? I can't really see that. Let's go to the other picture. Hopefully you might have it. What else do you love, sir? Um, I put my heart into the color palette and every detail. I love uh what's that the, of the original uh do you like stuff i don't know what to do with my hands love yeah easy easy so yeah it's pretty cool man i think it's really touching a really amazing tribute i can't wait to see what he does with the actual project i think it's going to be pretty amazing from what we've seen so far the little picture that he's he uploaded on twitter was pretty cool there's a transcript of the entire thing there but yeah it's going to launching next year 10-year collaboration again it's pretty cool because it allows him to have a, a brand maybe a, a kind of a micro brand or let's say what do they call no micro brand what was it uh in fashion when you have a, a diff, sort of like a diffusion line right there's a sort of like a easy diffusion line and also maybe an opportunity maybe um maybe an opportunity to you know give a platform to young designers people that aren't represented people that are overlooked a chance to sort of work within an infrastructure a mass market fashion infrastructure where you have to sort of work under different parameters that again i think that's really good learning i'm a big fan of that i think if you're gonna that's what i always say i think if you if you're working in if you're studying in fashion and you want to go intern at a brand or a fashion company you're probably better off trying to intern at gap so you're probably better off trying to intern at like as the george <coughs> or like top shop right or you know something or like primark or something right and trying to somehow um apply your really creative far out wacky fashion se sensibilities and trying to apply it to a really beige avocado green setting like a primark design office or, or design studio i'm not sh i'm sure they those guys aren't looking at you know balenciaga um you know collections from years gone by right they're just you know they're essentially just trying to make functional um high you know functional durable clothing for people who are going or maybe or disposable clothing for people that want to have an item to wear to a christmas party or whatever it may be so it's a whole different um design challenge that you have to um sort of address but i think that's a be better way to go about things but i can't wait to see what happens i can't wait to see who he collaborates with i can't wait to see some of the pieces i'm sure they're going to be very much in demand and again just what they're going to do in terms of merchandising store design will there be pop-up shops um how how it's going to basically evolved there's a long it's a long-term project 10 years with an option to increase it um to an extra five after the first five years so it's a really big commitment from both sides to really get this going and again we'll see what happens and we'll see how this affects the easy mainline will this mean that easy mainline will become a little bit more experimental will easy mainline be um sort of like condensed in terms of the pieces it does will they approach it differently will it be more conventional in terms of how it sort of showcased in terms of Paris Fashion Week and all that sort of stuff. Will it be a widely available? 
Will they have a store? Is there a lot of questions that are going to be um, that are going to be answered once this gap collab collaboration sees the light of day? But so far, so good.